Hey everyone, I just got done with leg day. Well, actually I didn't just get done because I felt it immediately through the workout. And when we did the same workout last week, I woke up Saturday morning and couldn't move and the soreness lasted all the way through till Monday. So I learned on Saturday from Autumn how to use a foam roller. I have owned this thing for years, but I never knew how to use it. So she showed us how to foam roll. So um, we did our workout at normal time at 1130 uh, my time, Central Standard Time, and then we um, it ended up being about 45 minutes. So um, like I said yesterday in my live video, we don't have a timer. So I've just been having to like check the clock when we're done to kind of have an idea of how long the workouts are because I know that usually is one of the biggest questions that people have. Uh, but Friday is always like day and I love it because like I said last week I woke up on the weekend super super sore and then it the pain and soreness went away on Wednesday and so now it's like day again like day is my favorite um, workout ever most people hate it but I love it um, to, uh, last week when we were just really kind of getting started with all the workouts it was you know pretty fast paced and it was hard to remember what the workouts are but today I paid attention so we had three rounds and each round had three moves in it. I think last week we did two rounds, but like I said, last week it was kind of a blur trying to get through it, but this this week we did three. And so um, one thing about this program that's so crucial is the nutrition side. And so I've been telling a lot of people that if you're watching our 80 day obsession journey and if you love Autumn's workouts or if you like the idea of working out live with the trainer, then um, you want to make sure that you get started now. We have like four and a half to five months, I don't know the exact date, till this launches, because we're in the middle of filming it. So now's the time for you to get started, to get familiar with our container system, get familiar with what foods are approved, and get, you don't have to be at the top of your fitness game, but you do have to have a level of fitness. I do believe that this could be very overwhelming to somebody just getting started because of the fact that with these workouts, we move very quickly. And you know, if you, I've always said in any workout that I would rather you follow the modifier and do two to three of the moves with good form than try to keep up with Autumn and you know be sloppy, have your form off, injure yourself. But with this um, workout, it moves really fast and so you, you might not get the full workout if you're not able to keep up. And what is really unique about this program, if you haven't you know followed me you know along the way, is that every workout that we do is going to be different. So it's not like workouts that we've had in the past where you do the same workout for like four weeks, four you know four times in a row over four weeks, and you you get the gist of how it is. Um, this is different workouts. So there's 80 different workouts. So um, that's how today it was. Tomorrow is back to cardio flow. If that's what you do every day or every Saturday, um, I loved it because it was really fa fast paced, um, but not like running and jumping or anything um, and I know that a lot of people are gonna have questions about this it is a very low impact um, workout and there is a modifier um, today was leg day and the one thing that is always emphasized is just pr proper form so um, I'm gonna release a video later on sometime today with some of the moves um, but I can feel it right here in my glutes and hamstrings so I know tomorrow's you know I'm gonna be super sore so after every workout I have my recover and then um, one cup of fruit that's really um, crucial to you know uh, repairing your muscles and that's one thing that this program is really designed for is that it's teaching you not only how, you know the portion sizes and what to eat and how to eat but when to eat it throughout the day to not only sustain your energy throughout the day and your health and maintain a healthy weight but also to make sure that you can get through your workouts and the one thing that I'm seeing in the group is the fact that everybody is not fatigued um, they're able to get through the workouts and feel great um, the one thing that I wanted to share that I I learned you know, a little bit that um, Chris Downing touched upon um, in May and June when I was part of the Shift Shop test group, that program just released in July, is the, the factor of stress. And so I've been putting a lot of you know, research into this because if you know me, then you know that I am like a 
high anxiety, high stress person, and I've been that way since a child. Um, a lot, I think, has to do with growing up in an abusive household and um, being adopted and having to just keep getting acclimated to different um, life changes. And I, I would always w break out in hives. I um, had like OCD even at like four years old. So I, you know, stress has been a big part of my life. I grind my teeth. I've had sleep problems. But I really was looking into this because of some uh, language that I've heard from people over the years. And it, I'm hearing it more and more often. It's adrenal fatigue or adrenal failure. And I didn't really know what that meant. I, I knew that some of the symptoms because people talked about it. And so... I know that stress isn't good. It's like a silent killer for so many people, but I've done some research. So basically your adrenal glands are sit right above your kidneys. They're responsible for releasing about 50 different hormones. And these are things that are um, really um, like in charge of your, your um, energy levels, your libido, um, everything there is regulated through this and I mean a lot of people have hormone problems and so this is something that you really want to you know think about and, and listen to um, you can have adrenal fatigue and adrenal um, gland failure because of a, a lot of different reasons so I won't get into that but I will talk about the 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 impact stress has and you know people um, talk about like stress eating and emotional eating and part of that is you know mental but a lot of it's physiological so when you are stressed like everybody I'm sure has heard the term fight or flight you know your brain has that and a lot of that is you know dictated because of your adrenal glands so when you're 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 under high stress you know no matter what it is and it can even be doing intense workouts uh, your body doesn't know how to differentiate stress from um, you know work stress from a relationship stress from um, you know jumping around doing workouts but when that happens your body does release you know different things and one of them is cortisol and that is something that can really inhibit your um, you know weight loss goals and so um, a lot of people don't realize this I mean I know but most people are just under stress all the time and even if you think that you let it out by like having your freak out sessions or you know you get just fucked up drunk like I used to you still have that stress and it just keeps going and so what your body is doing is constantly constantly producing cortisol and the, the how you can be, have it be fatigued or complete failure is if you're constantly under stress and then basically your adrenal glands you're just pouring from an empty cup because they're on like they're working all the time and so this can be something that you don't even realize is happening right now but over time it can cause a lot of a lot of health issues and you know and I, I feel that at the age I'm at mid 30s is when people really start caring about their health, start seeing weight gain, start seeing health problems, and this could be a byproduct of, you know, not taking care of your body, poor, you know, food choices, you know, different things um, early on when you don't think about it. So this is something that I really feel is, needs, people need to be educated, not just at our, at my age, to know the signs, but also to make sure that we're helping our children, because so many kids are stressed all the time now, and like I said, at three and four, I was under high stress. Obviously, not everybody was adopted or lives in an abusive home, um, but kids are really stressed now for different reasons. We live busy lives. There's high expectations of perfection. So these are the things that, you know, be careful with, you know, and notice the signs of your kids because, you know, people think that kids are inv invincible and indestructible, and to a degree we are. Our bodies are just amazing things, but over time, the wear and tear, you know, it can be a lot, it can be detrimental to our health and the biggest thing why when you're stressed that you overeat because you will say oh I'm an emotional eater but like find out why so basically what it is is our bodies are magnificent they're 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 smart they're efficient um but they don't sometimes know the the difference between one thing or another and so when your body's under stress for for whatever reason your you know your body goes into survival mode and it, it, so your body goes into survival mode on so many different aspects. Um, you know, the way your brain thinks, the way just the, the automatic physiological um, response to things. But basically, your body goes into survival mode um, thanks to that flight or flight response. And it thinks that you have used up all of these calories to deal with the stress. And so 
most people, if they don't have their eating under control, if they don't understand their eating, they're probably not going to, you know, be like, oh, I'm so fucking stressed. Let me eat a salad. They're going to be like, grab the fucking brownies or like, you know, so here's the thing is, this is why it's so important to, is to learn how to, to, to catch these things, learn how to evaluate your emotions and learn the right foods and learn to love yourself because when you're stressed and, and you're, nobody's immune to stress, you know, learn to, to channel that somewhere else. And I know this better than anybody for somebody that spent, you know, 20 years using drugs and alcohol to deal with the stress. And now I'm really, you know, I was telling my husband last night, it's like, I still have stress for different reasons. And now I'm having to learn how to manage it because I can't turn to drugs and alcohol. I can't, you know, th that is, that was a temporary fix and it did deal with my, it did help me deal with my stress. Cause when you are like completely numb, you aren't stressed. Uh, I do believe that, you know, that was the thing is I was a high stress. So when, you know, for, you know, as a young kid starting using drugs and then alcohol became so such a big tool, then it helps you relax. It helps you just be numb to everything. Then, you know, it, it, and especially with drugs, it re helped and rele releases dopamine. So if you're stressed and unhappy, that becomes addictive. So um, these are the things that, you know, trying to notice in yourself and teach your children that under stress, let's find better ways to cope because, you know, I know the toll it takes. And so I've been doing things like, you know, really just reaching out to my friends and having, you know, you know, calls. Uh, I have friends that we just do video calls because we live like thousands of miles away from each other, but we do have like little mini therapy sessions and we talk about things. Um, I read a lot of books that help me, which some of the, the stuff that I'm talking about now is stuff that I've learned and I, you know, work out because that is a huge stress reliever. Um, and I really um, make sure that I do things for myself so that I don't always feel like high stress taking care of everybody else. And I do meditation and I do things that are helping me deal with the stress because stress is a silent killer and stress can definitely work against your goals. I mean, it, can, it wears down on your energy. It wears down on, you know, um, your health and it can, you know, affect your eating. So I hope this was helpful. Um, but anyways, day 12 went great. It, like I said, I don't know. I just kind of feel like, I don't know if you've been watching my live videos every day. I kind of feel like every day I'm saying it's my favorite workout, but I do love leg day. Um, the workouts are just amazing. Autumn's amazing. And it's been so cool to watch like what they're doing live. Like, you know, they're just, they're, 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 it's hilarious, and I, I know that in the test group we've been talking about how much we enjoy watching the, the cast members and everything. So I'm hoping that they leave some of the funny stuff in there that you don't normally see in our programs because that makes it so super real. So, anyways, if you have any questions about the 80 day obsession, um, reach out to me. If you're interested in getting started in January, then reach out to me now because like let's get started helping you understand how our container systems work. Help you like come up with a plan, or I'll help you come up with a plan so that you're more prepared when January starts so that you can tackle this because I know that we have enough time that you can really build a really strong you know, fitness level base. So if you have any questions, let me know.